Hello everybody, so today I've got a diecast review here for you, uh, trying something a little different, bringing the diecast reviews back, and I'm actually going to try this out on my phone camera and see how it works out, so yeah, we'll jump right into it, and here we go. So, first up, we've got Brad Kozlowski's Money Line, don't know if the color quite comes through real well. So that money line kind of green is relatively bright at how it sticks out. It's very interesting. The uh, spoiler almost looks like it's a little bit of a lighter color than the rest of it, but cool to get a, a money line paint scheme with the, the updated one. Um, so I do have uh, Ryan Blaney's cup car from a few years back. But that's with the uh, classic Penske scallops. But uh, yeah, very nice looking paint scheme here. Money line. So it's like the same paint scheme that Cindric had on this championship car. Uh, Die cast from last year. It's a very nice looking paint scheme. Nice to have another one of Brad's many sponsors that he's had. The two car for the last little bit there. Next we've got the first uh, Kyle Larson five car that I've gotten here. So we've got his Nations Guard. It's black with a little bit of green and then the, the white. Kind of an interesting one. Um, same paint scheme um, overall that he's used for the Hendrick cars. Just different colors. Um, I do like the Hendrick cars better. Seems like the green's a little bit of an odd fit with this paint scheme, but uh, definitely an interesting one. I'm thinking they're going to stick with the uh, Hendrick cars for a while. I don't know if they're going to really have Nations Guard, but we did see Nations Guard on the uh, Spire Motorsports cars a lot, though, this past year. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm um, just waiting on getting the Hendrick cars uh, 164 scale for Kyle Larson in. <coughs> and then next one we've got Chase Elliott A Shock, Adrenaline Shock Energy Drink. Um, we're actually getting an energy drink car in the 164, but obviously, as you can see here, it's on the base, but really nice. Um, kind of came in as a replacement since Mountain Dew left Chase at the end of uh, 2020. I've sponsored him quite a bit now here. Um, not so much in the Cup Series, but in other racing dev endeavors. So they sponsored him in the one truck race he did. They've been sponsoring him in some of the dirt racing that he's been doing. So really cool to see. Pretty cool looking paint scheme. The A Shock logo there. Really since changed it. Um, I do like this logo better though. Um, yeah, pretty cool overall looking diecast. The red and the black really do pop and go well together overall. It's real nice. Next, we have Kyle Bush Snickers Peanut Brownie. So an interesting one. New product peanut brownie squares that Snickers has. Interesting with the purple background, but then you've got the big um, Snickers peanut brownie there showing the product on the side of the car, so that really sticks out. That kind of really gets you hungry. But uh, really cool, nice looking die cast overall here. Yeah, very nice. Another one to add to the mix of different candy paint scenes from, as people call him, the candy man there, Kyle Busch, since he's sponsored by a bunch of different Mars products. So next we've got Martin Truex Jr.'s number 19 Auto Owners Insurance. It's a little different than his past years. So we've got just kind of a, more of a solid dark blue and then the light blue here going on. Very nice looking die cast overall. So yeah, Reezer's Bass Pro Shop's definitely using up the space on the car, which is always nice to see here. So yeah, pretty simple looking paint scheme overall. Very nice, kind of cool how they got the, the auto owners, or the A on the auto owners kind of divides it. The different colors here on the hood. So yeah, very cool overall. Nice looking die cast. 
And then next we have Christopher Bell, number 20, DeWalt car. Very nice. A change from last year here. Um, yeah, kind of a nice cool design here going on with the yellow and then kind of this almost gray because it's not a, a full black here going on. So that's kind of an interesting color choice. But yeah, pretty cool, nice, interesting design. Kind of like how they got the logo going with the paint scheme there for the Prestine auction. But otherwise, looks very nice there. That is Christopher Bell's DeWalt car. And then next we've got Bell's Stanley car from this past year. Kind of an interesting looking paint scheme. Um, pretty simple, just got these two stripes here. This one I think is just supposed to be a light gray, but in some of the uh, pictures and renderings and stuff I've seen, it almost looks like it has a little bit of a greenish tip to it, depending maybe how you look at it. But it's really kind of a weird look there. But overall, not too bad of a looking paint scheme. Um, some would say maybe the yellow is a little too um, orangish or whatever. It should be maybe a little bit of a, a lighter yellow. But overall, not too bad of a looking die cast. Um, I do have the Kyle Busch one, this one as well. So it looks pretty similar, just with the uh, few associate sponsors different. And then obviously the 18 so the 20, but uh, basically the same paint scheme. So. Pretty cool overall, nice one to have with all the uh, different tool sponsors that Bell has in the 20. <clears throat> Next, we have kind of a little bit of a surprise, but cool one to see. Um, we have Austin Cindrix 33 Verizon. So Austin only ran part-time, so you don't see too many um, part-time drivers getting made these days. Um, but this is coming in to the Cup Series full-time next year, so... Got some races under his belt, and this is the car that he ran at uh, Daytona, Daytona, Daytona 500 this year. So, very nice here. Black, and then nice to see Verizon in there. So we got the black, the red, and the red and white trim down here at the bottom. But pretty simple overall, but nice looking. So yeah, very cool to see. Interesting kind of see the, the 33 car here as well. So cool die cast and then we've got here last nascar die cast is daniel suarez i fly from this past year so we've got new team with track house racing coming in this is their d2500 car as well i think they ran just a few other races as well with i fly but pretty cool design here got kind of a swooping design we've got kind of the i fly logo kind of in the background there Red, the blue, very cool, very kind of intricate looking design. Very good job. Oh, kind of cool how they got the slash through, that's kind of track houses thing, trademark there, kind of go with their logo. So very nice to see that. Really cool, nice to have a, a Suarez 99 car now. So that's it for that, but I do have one other thing here. Just want to show you. And this is one other thing that I got, my latest diecast purchase and this is brad sweets number 49 napa sprint car so nice to get a, a 164 scale sprint car it's my first one here so very cool to see you probably uh do maybe a diecast review separately on this once i open it but really nice to have and i did get all these um cars from circle b diecast so check them on out at circlebdiecast.com and use code CoreyK88 for free shipping as long as you spend $20 on your order and um, just have to live in the U.S. Otherwise, um, I believe they will charge you more shipping if you're outside the U.S. and you can't use that code. But otherwise, head on over, use that code if you're going to send over $20 at circlebdiecast.com. They got all sorts of different things. Um, you know, they don't just have NASCAR diecast, they've got some IndyCar, they got the sprint cars here. We've got all sorts of stuff, other general racing merchandise. So check them on out if you haven't. That is it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Corey Klatt signing off.